Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and I thought we had solved this problem. I thought we'd all collectively agreed not to do the thing, which makes my heart so heavy and so sad. Namely, I thought we'd all agreed to stop improperly setting up the Blue Yeti microphone. For all you folks out there doing some podcasting or some home voiceover recording, this is a very popular microphone to get you started, plug in a USB cable, and you've got a pretty flexible recording instrument right here. And you would think that because of that popularity, novices would have a better understanding of how this microphone is supposed to be used. So what is the wrong way to use this mic gadget guy? Well, headphone wearing individual, I'm glad you asked. Microphones are sexy. You see this beautiful piece of engineering with a nicely weighted base, and this mesh cone is just begging to be pointing at your mouth. It's where all of the talking happens. That's where this gets a little confusing. You'd see this design, you'd kind of think, okay, well, if I had like a laser pointer, it would go sticking out that way, right? And you would be wrong, good sir. You would be wrong. The Blue Yeti is actually what we would call a side address microphone. It's designed to be used pretty much straight up and down. You're aiming for that blue logo. That's your target for the sort of main general recording pattern sticking off the front of this microphone. That's when it's being used in cardioid. We'll have to do a whole separate video on like polar patterns and stereo recording. It's it's too much for right now. When you see a Yeti pointing at someone's face like this, the main recording pattern is actually sort of firing up into the ceiling. And I totally understand where this misconception comes from. If you've ever handled some radio style microphones, this is a Sennheiser MD421, you would maybe look at this design and think, oh, well, this is also a side address microphone. It kind of looks like other high quality recording instruments, and you would also be wrong. Even with this band cutting through the nose cone, this one is designed to be sort of pointed directly into your face, whereas this one is not. It's supposed to be used upright, and that's why recording is hard. One of the other confusing aspects about the Blue Yeti is simply the shape of the stand which comes with the microphone. Considering how low our desks usually are in relation to our torso, and then you see this really beautifully sculpted design which cradles the microphone, you can totally understand where that shape would lend itself to this kind of a setup. I mean, this looks like it makes sense, like this is how it was designed to be used. When you flip the microphone upright, it's usually not tall enough to really engage with the user. You need to like stack it on something else or you need to use the threads on the bottom of the microphone to attach it to a completely different stand. Bonus points for me using a thousand dollar mic in a case to prop up a $200 USB mic. I hope this video has been informative. If you're looking to do a little home recording for some voiceover, you're wanting to do some podcasting, the Blue Yeti is a popular mic for a very good reason. It's a very flexible recording instrument. But I need you all to remember that every time you set it up wrong and you record like this, God kills an orphan girl's puppy. I don't know why so many people want to kill orphan girls' puppies. As always, thanks so much for watching. Definitely subscribe to this channel for more fun videos where I tell you how you do things wrong. And uh, definitely follow me on social media. You can catch me on Twitter and Instagram as some gadget guy. You can catch all of my smartphone commentary over at Pocket Now, the Pocket Now YouTube channel, and PocketNow.com, where I'm having a lot of fun playing with a number of glowing rectangles there. And I will catch you all on the next video.